Do you feel overwhelmed by the constant flow of thoughts in your head? You are not alone in this experience in today's fast-paced world of clear focus thinking may seem like a rare superpower. However, there is hope. The ancient Stoic masters of the mind provided a treasure map in to navigate through the mental fog and unlock inner clarity. This video explores 11 powerful Stoic lessons that can transform your thinking and lead to a more fulfilling life. This is not just a theoretical philosophy, but a set of practical tools you can use to achieve greater mental clarity and peace in. Subscribe now and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with every video as we dive deeper into each transformative lesson. Join our learning community and share your experiences and insights in the comments. Below we can support and encourage each other on the path to clearer thinking. Lesson number one. Embrace doubt and question assumptions. The Stoics had an insightful perspective on the human condition. They believed that true wisdom stems from recognizing the vastness of what we don't know. This may seem counterintuitive, but Seneca pointed out that expectancy can hinder us from taking action when we hold on to assumptions without questioning them. We build mental barriers that prevent us from seeing clearly and responding effectively. So what can we do to break free from these self-imposed limitations and cultivate the clear thinking that the Stoics advocated for the answer lies in embracing doubt and questioning our assumptions. Here's how, firstly, we need to deconstruct our innity thoughts. Our brains naturally generate quick judgments based on limited information and ingrained biases. These initial thoughts might seem intuitive, but they can be flawed. We can challenge them by asking ourselves what evidence supports this thought. Are there alternative perspectives that I still need to consider? Could my biases be influencing my interpretation by actively interrogating our initial thoughts? We can chip away at the cognitive biases that cloud our judgment and lead us astray. Secondly, we should seek out dissenting voices. We tend to surround ourselves with people who share our views, creating echo chambers, reinforcing our biases, to broaden our understanding of the world and expose ourselves to blind spots in our thinking. We should intentionally seek out diverse perspectives, opposing viewpoints, challenging arguments and unfamiliar experiences. Thirdly, we must embrace the power of what-if questions. Instead of accepting things at face value, we should explore alternative scenarios, consider unintended consequences and challenge the status quo. This mental agility allows us to anticipate problems and make more informed decisions. Fourthly, we can practice devil's advocacy. We can identify potential flaws. We NS and counter arguments for our thoughts and beliefs. This self-scrutiny inspired by the stoic practice of negative visualization strengthens our arguments and exposes logical fallacies. Finally, we should find joy in intellectual humility, True wisdom lies in acknowledging the limits of our knowledge and being open to changing our minds based on new evidence or perspectives. Intellectual Ual humility is the foundation of clear thinking and lifelong learning. It's important to remember that questioning. Assumptions is not about fostering self-doubt, but empowering ourselves to think critically and make well-reasoned decisions. By adopting these stoic principles, we can unlock the door to a more transparent, sharper mind, ready to navigate the world's complexities with wisdom and grace. So let's embark on this journey of intellectual exploration, question boldly, and discover the true potential of our thinking. Lesson number two. Define your values and goals. Imagine traveling across a large ocean without any tools to help you. You would be at the whim of the shifting winds and currents, not knowing where you were going or how to get there. However, if you had a trustworthy compass to help you, it is crucial to have defined values and goals because they will help you navigate with purpose even in the most difficult situations 
by providing guidance and a clear destination in sight. They act as a map and compass to help you navigate the erratic currents of life. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Emperor, stated that the Stoics were known for emphasizing self-examination and purposeful living. He recognized the value of introspection and clarity of purpose in navigating life's complications. To chart your own path. You have to start with a voyage of self-discovery and follow certain guidelines. Initially, you need to examine your values in great detail and determine what is most important to you. This may be honesty, kindness, inventiveness, or something else in full. In order to identify your guiding principles, even in the face of difficulties, think back on your experiences, feelings, and goals. This will assist you in developing a decision-making process, a foundation in line with your basic principles. Understanding your values will enable you to translate them into specific aspirations and objectives. Think on both short-term and long-term stepping stone objectives. Consider the significant contributions you wish to make to the world, the information and skills you wish to acquire, and the experiences you wish to have. Setting specific goals will help you achieve these things. Guidance and Inspiration Making ensuring that your objectives and your basic values are in line is essential. Not whims of the moment or other forces, consider whether your objectives are consistent with your core beliefs. Once you've determined that reaching your goals would enhance your sense of fulfillment and purpose, and you're prepared to endure hardships and make compromises in order to get there, it's imperative to welcome adaptability because life is an ever-changing travel without a set destination. Be ready to modify your objectives as you gain new knowledge and experience. Unexpected obstacles and changing ideals could call for a change in direction. Adjustments. Accept adaptability and be willing to change while adhering to your basic principles. When values and objectives are in alignment, the Stoics can serve as an inspiration. Consult the works of Marcus Aurelius Epicus and Seneca for advice on introspection, living a purpose-driven existence, and overcoming obstacles in life with, with constant self-reflection, identifying your beliefs and goals with equanimity is a continual process rather than an isolated occurrence. Set sail with confidence, knowing that your beliefs and aspirations are your compass, guiding you towards a life full with meaning and purpose. By adapting to change and using the wisdom of the Stoics as your guide, you may chart a route toward a meaningful and authentic journey. Lesson number three. Beware of cognitive biases. Because our brains are not always accurate compasses, they can also lead us astray. Just as the Stoics carefully considered their judgments, we must be aware of these biases and take proactive steps to lessen their impact. Cognitive biases are patterns of deviation from rational thinking that can lead to errors and distortions in our judgment. Here are some common biases and strategies to combat them. Imagine walking through a dense forest with a malfunctioning compass. Every turn becomes a risk, taking you deeper into unknown territory. Confirmation bias. This cognitive bias, known as confirmation bias, affects all people and can make it difficult to remain open-minded because it causes a self-reinforcing cycle that makes it difficult to see the big picture and blinds us to the truth. Have you ever noticed how we tend to cherry-pick information that supports our viewpoint while ignoring everything that challenges it? How to overcome prejudice, proactively seek out divergent opinions, and question your presumptions, read articles written from various angles, engage in civil discourse, and take into account alternative theories, Due to availability bias, we tend to overestimate the likelihood of events based on instances that are easily accessible. 
For example, even if flying is statistically safe, you can become afraid of it after watching an aircraft accident on the news. How to overcome prejudice Don't solely rely on vivid anecdotes when making decisions. Instead, use data and facts. Obtain thorough information and take the larger picture into account before making judgments. When we experience anchoring bias, we overvalue the first piece of information we come across and use it as a foundation for later assessments. For instance, an early discount may cause a product to appear more valuable than it actually is. Pay attention to beginnings and first proposals. Before choosing, gather as much information as possible and weigh the costs, features and advantages. Objectively speaking, the bandwagon effect causes us to accept actions or views because others do, regardless of their inherent merit. This might result in us adhering to trends or groupthink, even when it contradicts our own judgment. How to overcome prejudice In group bias, we favour members of our group, family, friends and co-workers, over outsiders, even when it is not warranted. It is important to remember that biased or discriminatory decision-making can occur, and this can lead to unfair treatment. Before mindlessly following the herd, consider your own values and the evidence. How to overcome prejudice. Recognize the power that your group memberships may have. Consider people's behavior and merit instead of their affiliation with an organization. Keep in mind that acknowledging these prejudices is only the first step. Epicurus and other Stoics stressed that we are all accountable for our own decisions. Actively examine prejudices by looking for different viewpoints, exercising critical thinking and impartially assessing the evidence. By doing this, we develop objective and clear thinking that enables us to make wise judgments and deal with the challenges of life with more knowledge and understanding. As a result, we set out on this path to mental clarity and self-awareness. Equip yourself with awareness of cognitive biases and, akin to an adept navigator mending a malfunctioning compass, chart your path towards a future that is better informed and discerning. Lesson number four, gather evidence and seek diverse perspectives. Envision deciding to take a position on a complex topic after reading just one news story or speaking with a supporter of your ideas. It's similar like using only one color to paint a masterpiece. While you might be able to see some of the truth, you won't be able to see the entire picture. Why is it so necessary to seek out other perspectives? The Stoics, who respected reason and logic, understood the necessity of evaluating many perspectives, and we should do the same in our modern environment. Our brains have a tendency to ignore evidence in favor of information that confirms our ideas and to seek shortcuts. This artist echo chambers that support rather than question our opinions Epicurus, the Stoic philosopher, stated that our beliefs are what bother us rather than the experience itself. Regarding it by actively looking for a variety of solutions or opposing viewpoints on any given topic, we can deepen our comprehension. We become more knowledgeable and become aware of subtleties and complexity that we might not have otherwise noticed when we expose ourselves to diverse points of view, Recognize our prejudices. Considering different viewpoints enables us to identify our biases and preconceptions. This self-awareness enables us to lessen the impact of our unconscious biases and assess our thoughts more critically. Solidify the basis of our beliefs when we draw conclusions from a thorough analysis of the available data and perspectives. Our convictions are stronger. Civil discourse enables us to improve our positions, determine possible areas of weakness and cultivate intellectual resilience. But how can we proactively look for different viewpoints? Here are a few doable actions. Examine reliable sour sources. Look for a range of news sources. 
scholarly publications, and professional viewpoints that reflect many approaches and points of view. Be aware of confirmation bias and look for data that contradicts your assumptions. Have polite conversations. Don't be afraid to engage in conversation with others who hold opposing views. Pose inquiries. Even if you don't agree with them, try to grasp what they're saying and remember that polite conversation is about progress and mutual understanding rather than victory. Accept a variety of media and watch documentaries, books and podcasts that present original viewpoints on a range of subjects. To challenge your preconceptions and extend your perspective on the world, immerse yourself in diverse cultures and experiences. Step outside of your comfort zone and social media groups to confront your echo chamber. Look for groups that hold different opinions and have productive discussions with them. Recall that intellectual development frequently happens beyond the known. Acquiring proof and examining many viewpoints does not impli renunciating your convictions. Rather, it enhances your comprehension. Remember the words of Stoic philosopher Seneca as you set out on this trip, recognizing the complexity of the universe and cultivating intellectual humility. No matter how harsh it may seem, the truth will never hurt you. Accept the challenge, open your mind and satisfy your curiosity to learn more. You'll expand your horizons and construct a tapestry of understanding that reflects the complexity and diversity of reality. This will help you develop clear thinking and more wisdom and insight as you handle life's challenges. Lesson number five, slow down and reflect. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to be hasty, but just as haste can be dangerous in a treacherous mountain pass, it can also lead to disastrous consequences in our daily lives. The Stoics, masters of self-control and thoughtful action, recognize the immense value of slowing down and reflecting on the famous Stoic. Imagine walking through a dangerous mountain pass during the night. Every step must be deliberate, measured, and based on careful observation. In the modern day, Emperor Marcus Aurelius, famous quota, don't waste a time debating what a good man should be. Be one might be interpreted as a reminder to act with conscious choice another than becoming bogged down in arguments. Why is it crucial to take a moment to pause, ponder and gather your thoughts? Because of the daily chaos, we frequently respond hastily, depending on automatic and knee-jerk reactions, which might result in snap decisions lost chances and unexpected repercussions. We can achieve a number of advantages by integrating thoughtful contemplation into our decision-making process. A more thorough comprehension of the circumstances before making snap decisions may hinder us from understanding the context completely, obtaining the facts required and weighing all of the possibilities by pausing to think, we can examine the problem from other perspectives, recognize any potential complexity and comprehend the problem improved, decreased impact of emotion. Decisions made right now, motivated by intense feelings, may be imprecise and distorted. By slowing down, we can detach ourselves from the situation's immediate emotional intensity and assess it in a more composed and logical manner. Identifying possible repercussions. We frequently become ignorant to the bigger picture when we rush. Thinking things through helps us to predict potential results, anticipate unforeseen outcomes, and make choices that are consistent with our principles and long-term objectives. Development of self-awareness. Through reflection and pause, we can learn important things about how we think prejudices and emotional triggers, but how can we fit this practice into our busy lives? Here are some doable steps. Our self-awareness empowers us to live by our true selves and ideals, helping us to make decisions that are in line with our inner being. Plan a period of time for reflection. 
Set aside a certain period of time each day, even if it's only ten minutes, to reflect. During this time, you can write in a notebook, practice meditation, or just sit quietly and go over your ideas and experiences. Before choosing, pose guiding questions to yourself. Consider the following questions for a moment. Did I consider all of my options and what might happen if I choose one over the others? Does this choice fit with my beliefs and objectives? Look for outside viewpoints. Talk about your ideas and worries with dependable friends, mentors or experts. Their observations can provide insightful criticism and extend your viewpoint. Practice. We can develop a mindful attitude to decision-making by engaging in mindfulness practices such as deep breathing or being present in the moment. This enables us to disengage from impulsive reactions and make more deliberate decisions. Recall that taking time to slow down and contemplate does not equate to indecision or procrastination. Rather, it fosters thoughtful. The Stoic philosopher Senna once said that the best way to deal with anger is to delay and embrace the pause. By adopting these practices into your life, you'll gain the wisdom and composure to navigate the world's complexities with greater clarity and purpose. Take time to contemplate mindfully and observe how your decision-making improves. Lesson number six, embrace logic and reason. Just as it might be difficult to navigate across a stormy sea without a compass, Making judgments based only on our emotions can occasionally lead us astray. Since reason served to separate emotions from judgment, the Stoics who promoted reason and logic were aware of this risk and felt that it was essential to clear thinking. For this reason, it is crucial to embrace reason and logic. Lucid Reasoning Although emotions can give our experiences more depth, they can also impair our judgment and cause us to act impulsively. Distorted interpretations and prejudiced views, we can gain a number of advantages by applying reason and logic to our thoughts. Identifying prejudices based on emotion. Emotions frequently set off unconscious prejudices that affect our thinking without our conscious knowledge. We may recognize and go above these biases with the aid of reason and reasoning. Emotions can distort our objective evaluation of the evidence, causing us to select data that supports our opinions. We may objectively evaluate the information, take into account all relevant angles and reach judgments based on the facts thanks to logic and reason. Recognizing mistakes in logic Emotions can make it difficult for us to identify faulty thought habits. Reason and logic give us the ability to recognize logical fallacies and shield us from being duped by weak arguments. Making thoughtful choices. Our decisions frequently become rash and blind when emotions are in control. Emotions are important data points that provide insights into our values, needs and desires. Embracing logic and reason does not mean ignoring them completely. Rather, it means using them to help us take a step back, carefully consider our options, and decide on a course of action that is consistent with our long-term goals and values. The secret is to acknowledge them while resisting the want to let emotions control our decisions. Here are some doable actions to foster this equilibrium. Determine what makes you feel a certain way. Consider circumstances that cause intense feelings. Knowing these triggers gives you the ability to anticipate their impact and react more forcefully. When you are feeling strong emotions, give them names and acknowledge them. This small action can help you remove yourself from your sentiments. Enabling more impartial observation, look for other viewpoints. Talk about your ideas and feelings with people you can trust to challenge your emotional prejudices and provide unbiased criticism. Postpone making decisions in situations that are emotionally sensitive. Give yourself time to calm down by resisting the want to respond right away. 
Before making a decision, gather information and use reason and logic. Keep in mind that accepting reason and logic does not mean repressing emotions. Rather, it means fostering a healthy relationship in which emotions are present, but do not take over your thinking. To do this, use reason's compass in conjunction with your emotional map. You make more purposeful, well-considered judgments and negotiate life's complications with better clarity. Epicus, the Stoic philosopher, once said that what disturbs us is not the event itself, but rather our perception of it. Make intelligent decisions about your opinions based on logic and reason, and set off on a path that will lead to a happy and meaningful future. Lesson number seven, beware of emotional hijacking. Have you ever experienced a sudden storm while sailing a ship? The wind howls, waves crash, and the visibility drops down. If you are unprepared, the storm can quickly take over, throwing your vessel around and putting you at the mercy of the elements. Similarly, when our emotions are intense and unregulated, they can take over our thinking, leading us to make impulsive decisions and flawed judgments. The Stoics were masters of self-control and clear thinking, and were well aware of this danger. They believed that our emotional tyrant could temporarily depose our rational mind, resulting in actions we might regret later. Why is emotional hijacking such a threat to clear thinking when our emotions are strong? Our brain's alarm system, the amygdala, takes over, shutting down the prefrontal cortex, the center of reason and logic. This primal response is designed for immediate survival, but it can lead us assay in everyday life. Here's how impaired decision-making our emotions can cloud our judgment, making us prone to impulsive choices that we may regret later. We might say hurtful things in anger, make rash financial decisions, or act out in ways that damage relationships, distorted interpretations, our emotions can warp our perception of reality, making us see things as worse or better than they actually are. We might overreact to minor setbacks, personalize neutral comments, or jump to negative conclusions without evidence, fueling conflict. Unmanaged emotions can escalate disputes, leading to arguments, misunderstandings, and strained relationships. We might say hurtful things, act defensively or shut down, communication altogether. So how can we prevent emotional hijacking and regain our thinking, thrown the Stoics with their emphasis on self-awareness and emotional regulation, offer some valuable tools, mindfulness with consistent practice of mindfulness meditation. We can develop the ability to recognize our emotions as they surface through this awareness. We can observe our emotions without judgment and choose how to respond. This creates space between the stimulus and our reaction, empowering us to lead calmly and in tension, al deep breathing in moments of overwhelm. Simply taking slow, deep breaths can do wonders. Activating the parasympathetic nervous system can promote relaxation and reduce the fight ORF flight response. This process has been known to help people calm down and ease anxiety. This helps calm our body and mind, allowing for more rational thought and a sense of peace. Cognitive restructuring. We can challenge negative thought patterns that fuel emotional reactions. We can ask ourselves, is this thought accurate? Are there alternative perspectives? What evidence supports this thought by reframing our thinking? We can de-escalate emotional intensity, taking a step back if we feel our emotions taking over. We can remove ourselves from the situation physically or mentally. We can take a walk, listen to calming music, or engage in a relaxing activity. This creates space for our emotions to subside and allows for clearer thinking. Upon our return, remember, emotional hijacking is not a sign of weakness. It's a natural human response. However, by understanding the risks and equipping ourselves with these tools, 
we can regain control of our emotions and cultivate clear thinking, even amidst life storms. And as Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Emperor, reminds us, the object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to be on the side of the truth. By mastering our emotions, we stay true to our values, make sound decisions, and navigate life with greater clarity and purpose. So let's be the captains of our ships, weather emotional storms with grace, and steer our thinking toward a brighter, more fulfilling journey. Less. Lesson number eight. Practice active listening. No matter how good you are, you cannot solve a puzzle that has missing pieces because you require the entire picture to be put together. Understanding different points of view is essential for navigating life's complexities, and the secret to piecing together these vital puzzle pieces is active listening. A good man must learn to argue on favor of his own opinion without hate towards those who disagree with him, according to Epicus, their respected philosopher, who was also a member of the Stoic movement and noted for emphasizing clear, clear thinking and open communication. Underlining the value of actively listening in order to truly understand the perspectives of others as well as to defend our own, why is active listening so important for lucid reasoning? We frequently fall into the trap of passive listening in today's fast-paced environment, when we hear words but fail to appreciate their underlying meaning. This can result in misunderstandings, missed opportunities for learning, and even needless confrontation. But active listening is more than just hearing. It's making a deliberate effort to keep your attention on the speaker and not get sidetracked. Concentrate your gaze on the speaker and provide them your whole attention, paying close attention to their body language and voice tone. Try to grasp the speaker's perspective, feelings, and experiences. Even if you disagree, this encourages sincere communication and leads to a deeper comprehension of the situation. Make clarification inquiries. Avoid interrupting the speaker by resisting the urge to add your thoughts or opinions. Instead, give them space to fully express themselves without interfering with the conversation. Asking questions shows that you are interested in what they are saying and encourages them to elaborate, giving you a better understanding of their perspective. Think back and sum up Ask After Listening. Pause to consider what you've heard, and then succinctly paraphrase the speaker's important points to show that you understand and to stimulate more discussion by implementing these techniques. Active listening yields several advantages. Improved comprehension, you get a greater respect for different points of view, broadening your understanding and confronting your prejudices, less conflict. By genuinely comprehending the viewpoints of others, you may address arguments with respect and empathy, encouraging more fruitful dialogue. Greater bonds between people. Active listening improves rapport and trust, fortifying interpersonal relationships and fostering a happier social atmosphere. Taking into account different points of view can help with problem solving and help with comprehending complicated issues more thoroughly, which can result in more effective solutions. Another Stoic philosopher, Marcus Aurelius, reminds us that active listening is a mindset rather than a skill. It involves approaching conversations with curiosity, humility, and a sincere desire to learn from others. Choose to be an active listener who prioritizes understanding over arguments, and you'll see how your world expands with clarity, empathy, and deeper connections. Use your cognitive faculties to actively listen intently and try to fully understand every discourse in order to get its insightful nuggets. Lesson number nine, value clarity and precision. To navigate life's intricacies like an owned sword that can cut through ambiguity, one must have clear thinking and accurate communication skills. Imagine navigating through a dense jungle with a fuzzy map where every way seems uncertain and ambiguous. 
The Roman philosopher and statesman Seneca once said, The shortest and chest way is to lay the cards on the table. This statement highlights the importance of clarity and precision in thought and communication. The Stoics, who were known for their emphasis on reason and logic, highly valued this principle. Why is it that clarity and precision are so crucial for lucid reasoning? Clear thinking and language help us avoid miscommunication, inefficient issue solutions, and diminished credibility. Uncertain communication can lead to misunderstandings and lost possibilities for connection. Other people might require assistance in realizing our intentions, which can cause irritation and conflict. Uncertain thinking makes it more difficult for us to pinpoint the source of issues and create workable solutions. Instead, than addressing the fundamental problem that causes recurring challenges, we might just manage the symptoms. Ultimately, using ambiguous language can erode our confidence and authority. By using clear and precise language, we can command respect and add more influence to conversations. There are steps we can take to improve the way we think and communicate, starting with defining key terms and concepts before talking about complex issues. Second, by use clear-cut language, we may simplify complex concepts into smaller, more digestible chunks. Thirdly, by giving concrete instances, we may help our ideas become more relatable. Fourthly, we can respond to other people's reactions to our communication by getting their opinion and following up with clarifying questions. Finally, rather than feeling pressured to talk during every silence, it's important to take a time to collect our thoughts before speaking. By doing so, we can reap a number of benefits. Precision and clarity as well as improved communication, improved critical thinking, enhanced credibility, and enhanced problem-solving skills. Unambiguous communication builds connections, promotes understanding, and prepares the ground for fruitful cooperation, defining vocabulary, disintegrating ideas, and with particular instances, make us think more critically and spot any potential ambiguities in our thinking. When we communicate ourselves clearly and authoritatively, we project confidence and authority, which amplifies the impact of our ideas. By precisely defining the issue and utilizing language, we are also better able to pinpoint the source of the problem and create workable solutions. Remember that precision and clarity are the foundations of clear thinking as well as effective communication. By developing this habit, we may better traverse the complexities of life and enable ourselves and others to make sense of the world around us. So hon your thinking. Accept the power of straightforward language and you'll see an increase in comprehension and communication. Lesson number 10. Embrace continuous learning. Imagine a woodcutter who has to chop down a considerable tree using a blunt saw. The task becomes difficult and progress could be faster, like a sharp saw. Continuous learning empowers the mind to navigate life's complexities with clarity and agility. The Stoics, known for their commitment to self-improvement, understood this principle. Well, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius urged people to live as if you were to live another hundred years. He was emphasizing the importance of lifelong learning and personal growth. Why is embracing continuous learning crucial for clear thinking? Our brains, like our muscles, become weak without exercise. As we get used to familiar routines and perspectives, our ability to think critically and creatively can decline However, continuous learning acts as a potent elixir, with several benefits expanding your knowledge. Based by exposing yourself to, to new ideas, different disciplines and challenging perspectives, you broaden your understanding of the world and challenge your assumptions. This enriches your thinking and enhances your ability to connect seemingly unrelated ideas 
boosting cognitive agility, challenging your mind with activities such as acquiring a new language, solving puzzles or engaging in debates helps you maintain mental acuity and flexibility. It strengthens your cognitive muscles, enhancing your ability to analyze information, identify patterns and draw sound conclusions, challenging your biases. We all have conscious and unconscious biases that can distort our thinking. Continuous learning provides opportunities to confront these biases by encountering alternative viewpoints and engaging in critical self-reflection. This fosters intellectual humility and equips you with a more objective lens for viewing the world's sparkling curiosity and creativity. A stagnant mind is fertile ground for boredom and intellectual stagnation, continuous learning on the other hand ignites curiosity and fuels creativity as you explore new concepts and challenge yourself. You unlock hidden potential and discover innovative solutions to complex problems. So, how do you cultivate a love for learning and integrate it into your daily life? Here are some practical steps. Embrace daily learning. Dedicate even small pockets of time to learning. Read articles on diverse topics. Listen to podcasts while commuting or take online courses that P, your interests seek out intellectual challenges. Join a book club. Participate in stimulating conversations with friends and colleagues or engage in online forums that foster. Critical thinking make learning a social experience. Discuss new ideas with friends, family or online communities. Sharing your learning journey with others enhances understanding, fosters accountability and sparks even deeper exploration. Step outside your comfort zone, explore unfamiliar disciplines, read books by authors with opposing viewpoints, or attend lectures on topics you know little about pushing your intellectual boundaries, broadens your perspective and challenges your assumptions, Practice critical thinking exercises, dedicate time to actively analyze news articles, identify logical fallacies in arguments, you encounter or deconstruct your own thought processes. This deliberate training strengthens your critical thinking muscles. Remember, continuous learning is not about accumulating knowledge for its own sake. It's about cultivating a growth mindset, an insatiable curiosity that propels you forward on a lifelong journey of intellectual exploration. As Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, wisely stated, we learn for life embrace. This journey sharpen your mental source and watch your ability for clear thinking flourish in a world full of ever-evolving challenges and opportunities. So embark on this adventure of lifelong learning and witness your mind transform into a powerful tool for navigating the complexities of life with ever-expanding wisdom and clarity. Lesson number 11. Take care of yourself. Lesson 11. Look after yourself. Building a thriving. The Stoics, who advocated for self-mastery and holistic living, understood the importance of self-care and healthy habits as the foundation for both clear thinking and genuine well-being. Epicus, a renowned philosopher, once said that man is not disturbed by events, but rather by the views he takes of them. This insight emphasizes the importance of self-care for optimal mental well-being. The mind and body are not separate entities, but rather a complex interwoven system, so when one aspect suffers, the other is also affected. Taking care of yourself can improve your cognitive abilities in a variety of ways. Chronic sleep deprivation can lead to emotional dysregulation, impulsivity and poor decision-making. It can also impair cognitive performance, making it difficult to focus, remember information and think critically. While poor eating habits can cause mental dullness, memory loss and brain fog, a balanced diet full of nutrients that support brain function, such as omega-3 fattier seeds, can enhance cognitive function. An active lifestyle helps to ensure that the brain receives enough blood flow, 
which strengthens neural connections and improves cognitive function. However, regular exercise also helps to improve focus, memory and overall brain health, which creates an ideal environment for clear thinking. To create a nurturing environment for clear thinking, you need to take practical steps like prioritizing quality sleep and creating a regular sleep schedule. Create a relaxing nighttime routine and avoid using electronics for an hour before bed. Consuming whole meals can help you reach your ideal level of cognitive function and brain health. Foods that stimulate the brain, such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains and lean protein, can enhance your general health. Select omega-3 fatty acid-rich foods like walnuts, flax seeds and fatty fish to maintain optimal cognitive performance. Your body is your most valuable possession. Take care of it by eating healthily and drinking healthy beverages to uplift your spirit and intellect. Maintaining an active lifestyle is essential. Finding an activity you enjoy doing will make it more pleasurable, whether it's team sports, swimming, dancing, or brisk walking, setting aside 30 minutes each day for physical activity can help you reach your goals. Engaging in regular exercise can improve the cognitive function of your brain. Enhance blood flow and low attention, which leads to a more concentrated and lucid mind to efficiently handle stress and enhance mental lucidity. It can be beneficial to practice relaxation techniques like yoga, deep breathing or meditation. Using awareness to comprehend your feelings and ideas without passing judgment. This enables you to identify harmful thought patterns that may affect your thinking and replace them with more objective perspectives. Spare no more time debating what a good man should be. Instead, be someone who prioritizes well-being, cultivates a healthy mind and body, and observes your capacity for transparent thinking. By prioritizing healthy habits and self-care, you create a fertile ground for clear thinking, emotional resilience, and a life filled with greater clarity, purpose, and achievement. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Emperor, counseled. Blossom will guide you toward a fully satisfying and meaningful life, but bear in mind that putting these stoic principles into practice is a process that calls for consistent work rather than a one-time accomplishment. As you incorporate these teachings into your day-to-day -day activities, you'll notice a shift in your viewpoint, an improvement in your capacity to face challenges head-on, and a renewed sense of control over your thoughts and actions. So begin this transformative journey, cultivate your stoic mental ality and unleash the full potential of your cognitive abilities. Have you ever felt like your mind was constantly spinning? There are even times when you get carried away by your thoughts and don't know what you are doing. Every time you try to concentrate, you end up in a huge sea of thoughts and lose yourself in conversations with yourself. If these thoughts sound familiar, then this video is exactly the answer you are looking for. Most of us are constantly caught up in endless streams and thoughts. It makes us forget how to act and look for solutions to our problems. But don't worry, today we're taking on this challenge together in today's video. Join us in 10 Stoic Strategies, the keys that will help you open the door back to the world of consciousness and action. These are the deep secrets that will help you say goodbye to unnecessary worries and open the door to mindfulness and action. Join us on this journey as you learn to observe, evaluate and change the way you think. This is not only a journey of self-discovery, but also a guide to Maud's inner peace and fortitude. Prepare for change so that you become stronger and clearer with each passing day. Don't miss this exciting journey. Join me in the first lesson on the journey to discover the power of calm and inner peace. Lesson number one. Embrace impermanence and practice letting go. 
Imagine standing on the shore of the sea of life with the vast and ever-changing ocean before you. Never come. These images represent the essence of Stoic philosophy, an old philosophical school with profound ideas. The Stoics recognize the impermanence and constant change of everything in life. Ancient Stoic philosophers show us that life is like endless waves that constantly rise and fall. All the joys and sorrows, assets and losses may change over time. This means that we cannot fully control life and cannot avoid change. When you learn to let go, you truly free yourself from the limitations of control and possession. This is not just a lesson, but a strong decision to become someone who understands life and faces every challenge with courage. When you no longer have the tension of having to control every aspect of life, begin to merge with the natural flow of life. You realize that all changes are part of the journey, part of life, and when you face every challenge calmly and patiently, you show your strength. You are no longer caught in the useless race for control of everything. Instead, you know how to enjoy every moment without becoming too attached to it. Imagine facing the loss of your job in difficult economic times, but when you consider that there are many aspects to life beyond work, you wonder whether it's worth worrying too much about the loss of the workplace. You stop thinking that your life is not all about work. You have family, friends, hobbies and other personal goals. These are all valuable and should not be overshadowed by work-related concerns. When you recognize the impermanence of life, you feel less pressure and can concentrate more calmly on solving your problem. Remember that life is a short journey by practicing change and letting go. You have the opportunity to experience each moment more fully and deeply. This will help you stop overthinking and find inner peace in the midst of an ever-changing life. Lesson number two, create a worry period. In this world, we often feel burdened with unnecessary thoughts and useless worries. Therefore, creating a space for worry is a gateway to peace of mind in life. However, Stoic philosophy has taught us how to manage our minds and counter these thoughts. When you set aside a specific time on your Tate day to face your worries, you not only set the stage for them to dissipate easily, but you also focus on control. According to Stoic philosophy, an effective way to prevent overthinking is to set aside a specific time on the TH day to deal with worries and negative thoughts. This can be applied to your daily life, and here are four ways you can do this. First, a time must be defined. Choose a regular time of day, such as every morning or before bed, to create space for worry. This will help you concentrate. Worry at a specific time and don't let it dominate your entire day. Secondly, there are concerns about the records. During this time, be sure to record your worrying thoughts. Write them on paper or use note-taking apps on your phone. This will help you clear your head and put those thoughts in a separate space. Third is verification and resolution. After objectively recording your worried thoughts, review them. Try to assess whether or not these concerns require immediate attention. If there are specific issues that can be resolved, you can plan to fix them later. The fourth is the end and liberation when the time of sorrow ends. Set a goal to clear your mind of these worries. Take a deep breath and focus on the present. Become aware of your presence. Are you someone who often worries about your finances? Looking at your account or thinking about your debts leaves you feeling stressed. In fact, this concern even crops up during relaxing moments with family on the weekend. However, to deal with this situation, you should learn to set a specific time to eliminate these concerns. Take time every evening to review your financial situation and solve problems later. You can enjoy time with your family without any worries. This will help you live a more harmonious and enjoyable life 
initiating a period of anxiety is a smart and effective strategy for applying stoic philosophy to your daily life. Not only does this help you prevent excessive thinking, but it also has many other benefits. Control your mind, clear worries, and create a balance in life. Before we move on to step three, let's dive into the story. Someone who was worried about an important presentation to a large audience. If he thought about it too much, he would feel stressed and anxious. However, when you apply an important principle, you realize that the worrying thoughts were not part of himself. Luke began to control her. He imagined himself speaking to these troubling thoughts and asked them to leave his mind. This helped Luke create distance and approach his presentation with more confidence. You have to wonder how Luke managed to confidently perform the presentation in front of a large audience, right? You will find the answer in the next step. Lesson number three. Visualize your overthinking as an external force. Before the whirlwind of overthinking hits you, imagine that it is not a part of you. Rather, it is an external entity, a force that you can observe and identify. By doing this, you create a distance between yourself and these thoughts. You are no longer attracted to the vortex of negative thinking. Instead, you become the one in control. When you imagine confronting an external force, you also realize that you have the ability to defeat it. You can confront excessive thoughts and control them instead of letting them dominate your life. This means you have choice and control. In this process, you see yourself as a warrior facing an opponent. You know you have to use your knowledge and skills to win. This will make you more confident in dealing with too much thinking and you won't feel overwhelmed. In addition, this technique helps to reduce pressure on yourself. Instead of judging yourself based on unnecessary thoughts, learn to look at those thoughts from a more objective perspective. You make smarter decisions about how you deal with it. Remember that life has many facets and overthinking is only a small part of it. By imagining it as an external force, you can focus on the positive and interesting aspects of your life. Comment. I am ready to apply this principle and you will experience a positive change in the way you deal with overthinking. Lesson number four. Reflect on the transience of life. We are all warned that a temporary life is not worth living and we often strive for stability and fulfillment. However, Stoic philosophy offers a completely opposite perspective. When we think about the transience of life, this may seem counterintuitive, but the fact is that when we consider the fleeting and transient nature of life, we can find richness and meaning in every moment. And Seneca once wrote, it is not that we have little time to live, but that we waste a lot. This reminder makes us aware that we often waste a lot of time on unnecessary thoughts and worrying about trivial things. Stoic philosophy encourages us to focus on what is important, live a meaningful life, and understand that everything is temporary. Furthermore, reflecting on the transience of life promotes a positive attitude. Instead of getting caught up in negativity or undeserving complications, we learn to see every experience as part of the journey. Every failure is a learning opportunity, and every success is a reason to be grateful. We learn to enjoy every moment and gain happiness from every way of life. Finally, contemplating the transience of life helps us gain a higher perspective. We realize that small and insignificant problems do not deserve undue concern. But don't get me wrong, it's not about turning your back on difficulties. It is the realization that life is too short to spend too much time and energy on trivial things. For example, you may be afraid of losing your job, but when you consider that there are many aspects to life that go beyond work, you ask yourself whether this worry is unnecessary. By recognizing the impermanence of life, we'll feel less pressure and focus on finding a calm solution to the problem. Life is a series of precious moments. 
Enjoying every moment is a way to express gratitude for this life. We learn to eliminate fears about the future by focusing on the present and practicing positive thinking. We realize that the fleeting nature of life can help us see life from a higher perspective and that small and insignificant problems do not deprive us of happiness. Lesson number five. Shift your perspective to gratitude. Imagine a world where we not only see the challenges and difficulties, but also appreciate the positive and valuable aspects of life. This is the power of gratitude. It is a skill that Stoic philosophy has passed down through the centuries. Today we have the opportunity to explore it and apply it to our daily lives. Gratitude is not just about counting what we have, but also about appreciating it and being grateful for it. We not only see the positive aspects, but also the beautiful sides of life. No matter how small it may be, it can bring about profound changes. To achieve this change, begin by cultivating gratitude in three ways. Start by making a gratitude list. Make a list of positive things in your life. Examples include health, family, friends, work, or anything that brings you happiness and meaning. When you feel pressured, look at this list and remind yourself of the valuable things. Second, understand that everything can be lost. Nothing is forever. Reflect on the impermanence of everything and appreciate the present moments. Examples include changes in work, relationships, and social interactions. This will help you avoid stress and fear of change. Third daily gratitude exercise. Focus on daily gratitude every morning or evening. Take some time to think about what you are grateful for and express your gratitude. Examples of this are pleasant meetings, small successes or exciting experiences. This creates a positive mood and helps you feel more satisfied. So when we learn to focus on gratitude, we lay the foundation for a happy and meaningful life. As Seneca once said, true happiness lies in enjoying the present without being anxiously dependent on the future. Let gratitude be your powerful guide to avoid overthinking and find joy in the present and you. Have you practiced gratitude in your life? Share your story in the comments below. We can't wait to hear your story. We would like to express our gratitude and congratulations for reaching the halfway point of today's video. Your presence here shows that you are well prepared for this journey. Now focus your attention on the remaining five principles so as not to think too much as you continue to improve. Lesson number six. Practice voluntary discomfort when it comes to discomfort. When it comes to discomfort, what do you think? Maybe it's these challenging moments when life brings gentle trials. However, in Stoic philosophy, discomfort is not something to be avoided, but rather an opportunity to develop a strong mind and strive for progress. Stoic philosophy emphasizes the important principle of willingly facing difficulties and inconveniences in daily life. This underlines the importance of voluntarily taking on the challenges and being prepared for challenging situations. The main goals of this principle are the development of mental strength. When you actively create difficult situations, you train your mind to handle a greater challenges. This helps you develop resilience and patience so that you can better cope with difficult life and not accept failure so easily. Conscious adaptability. By willingly facing difficulties, you learn to accept and adapt to changes and uncertainties in life. You become more flexible and independent of ideal conditions. Furthermore, face excessive thoughts calmly and patiently. Exercising voluntary hardship may, for example, involve voluntarily limiting excessive consumption, participating in activities or sports that you dislike or passively dealing with fears and anxiety. These voluntary actions not only help you develop mental strength, but also allow you to adapt and become more flexible in daily life. 
practicing voluntary difficulties prepares you to face all aspects of life and to think much more effectively. As Marcus Aurelius once explained in his book, Meditate Sons, the art of living is more like wrestling than dancing. Life is not always smooth, but it is often full of challenges and difficulties. So are you ready to use this principle as a guide on your journey? Leave a comment, encourage me, and you can be stronger every day as you face life's challenges. Lesson number seven, take control by refocusing your energy. Imagine a situation where you are driving on a mountain road with challenging curves. Your car continues up the mountain. Even if you check the car before driving, you still feel uneasy. Feelings of tension begin to surround your mind. You can imagine that there could be an accident or that the car could break down in the middle of the mountain road. As you think about the possible anxiety-inducing consequences, you begin to ask yourself, have I prepared well enough for this? Can I handle the sudden emergency situation? These phrases show that you're in a state of emotional insecurity and worry when you find yourself in the web of overthinking. It means your mind is focused on things that are beyond your control. Stoic philosophers believe that we should only concern ourselves with what is within our control, known as the Stoic Control Circle. Anything outside of this circle should not be the focus of our attention or concern. To implement this stoic principle, stop recognizing when you think or ruminate on issues that are beyond your control. Once identified, direct your thoughts and actions elsewhere. It may be dedicating yourself to tasks that align with your values, pursuing a hobby, or simply engaging in work that requires your concentration. By focusing your energy on what you can control, you not only break the cycle of overthinking, but you also regain a sense of agency in your life. This helps align your mindset towards actions that lead to personal growth and positive results. Remember that although you cannot control external situations, you can control how you react to them. This perspective, supported by Stoic philosophy, can be a powerful tool for overcoming overthinking and finding serenity and peace in the present moment. Lesson number eight, seek wisdom from outside yourself. Are you always looking for wisdom within yourself? But there is a necessary change that Stoic philosophy always encourages us to make. That is, look for wisdom outside of ourselves. We often catch up on accumulated knowledge and choose to apply principles from books and personal thoughts. However, true wisdom is diverse. When we brought our horizons to bear, when we dared to think outside the box and learn from others, seeking wisdom outside of ourselves in is a significant action in our journey into Stoic philosophy. We can seek the wisdom of the great Stoic philosophers before us and learn from their books and lectures. But learning also comes from studying the experiences of others, of conversations with friends, to know and share with the people around us. I'll tell you a story about a friend of mine who successfully applied this lesson. This is Alex. Like many other young people who are exposed to professional and personal pressure. In, Alex decided to join a discussion group on Stoic philosophy and ask his close friend for wisdom. This is Emily, someone with a lot of experience in life management. By learning from others, Alex found a more effective way to deal with pressure and create balance in his life. This reflects Alex's insight and personal development in seeking wisdom outside of himself. Wisdom also arises from diversity. Sometimes understanding comes from opening our hearts and listening to the different perspectives of people with different cultures and religions. This is how we expand our horizons and discover new aspects of life. Remember that wisdom exists not only in books and common knowledge, but also in personal stories and experiences. It is an endless journey seeking wisdom from outside. We have the opportunity to see information and grow every day. Lesson number nine, 
focus on effort, not outcome. Life often presents us with many challenges and goals that we have to face every day. We make plans, we predict outcomes, and hope that everything turns out the way we want it to. However, we do not always follow our plans, and the results do not always meet our expectations. According to Stoic philosophy, worry and stress in life arise from our excessive focus on the end result. However, you must realize that you can control how you perform a task, but not the end result. Instead of worrying about the outcome, focus on how you do the work and the effort you put in. Focusing on effort can help reduce feelings of pressure and anxiety. You no longer have to worry about things that are out of your control, and this helps you develop a more relaxed mindset. If the results do not meet expectations, you can view this as a learning opportunity. The Stoic philosophy of encourages viewing failures as part of the learning and development process. In addition, focusing on effort promotes effectiveness. You will do everything with a focused mind and not be distracted by worries about the outcome by concentrating on what you are doing. You can enjoy the present moment. For example, if you take part in a marathon instead of worrying about the finishing position, focus on maintaining the effort and every step of the race. This will help you take the pressure off and enjoy the process more as you focus on the daily effort rather than the end result. You can learn and develop skills without stress. This principle helps you develop a pleasant mindset and enjoy every moment of life. Therefore, the principle of Stoic philosophy to focus on effort rather than results not only helps reduce stress, but also brings joy and meaning to every moment of life. This is an important aspect of life, a life worth living and understanding, the true value of effort and the present moment. Lesson number 10. Break down overwhelming thoughts into actionable steps. Every day our minds can be filled with thoughts about big challenges and complex aspects of life. We always ask ourselves why we feel this way. And is there a way to stop overthinking? In the end, we will explore one of the most valuable principles of Stoic philosophy, breaking down overwhelming thoughts into practical steps. This is a powerful tool for dealing with overthinking and taking back control of our minds. When life presents overwhelming challenges. Stoic philosophy encourages you to break it down into manageable actions. Imagine you are facing a big work project full of pressure. You feel overwhelmed when you think about the entire process. To apply Stoic philosophy, you can follow these steps. Step 1. Identify the difficult task. Start by clearly identifying the task or project that is causing overwhelm in your mind. Gain a deeper understanding of the situation. Step 2. List all specific actions. Begin listing all the specific tasks required to complete the project. This may include research planning, data collection, communication with colleagues, and many other tasks. Step 3. Prioritize the actions and start with Step 1. Prioritize tasks in order of importance and decide to start with the first step. Research and collection of basic information. Step 4. Focus on completing each step rather than worrying about all the tasks in front of you. Focus on optimization in the first step. Conduct research and collect information carefully. Step 5. Repeat this step for each additional task after you complete the steps. Use the same process for each subsequent step. Every step completed is a small achievement. You will feel more confident and reduce pressure by breaking a large project into specific steps and focusing on each step individually. Not only will you cope better with the pressure, but you'll also continually move toward the ultimate goal. This is how Stoic philosophy can be applied to everyday life. To help you tackle important challenges, 
Together we've explored 10 Stoic ways to stop overthinking and apply Stoic philosophy to daily life. 10 Stoic ways to stop overthinking. What steps do you think should prioritize on your journey in life? What stories do you hope you will incorporate into your life? Share your thoughts, wishes and Stoic journey in the comments section.